Now, politics in Zamfara State has become somewhat of a minefield as the governor, current governor, Dauda Lawal, and the Minister of State for Defense, who is a former governor of the state, Bilo Matawali, have been at loggerheads. Now, meanwhile, the just concluded Edo governorship election witnessed allegations of irregularities from different quarters. This is standpoint. I am precious, Amayu. Now let's begin in Zamfara State, where a feud which has been brewing since Governor Lawal defeated his predecessor, Bello Matawale, in the 2023 election has become heated. As the insecurity situation in the state continues due to banditry and illegal mining, the two politicians have traded barbs linking each other to bandits and illegal mine miners. Now joining me live from Abuja studio to shed uh, more light on the current political rivalry in Zamfara State is a former commissioner for information in the state, Ibrahim Dosara. Good to have you join us. Good afternoon, Precious. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, l let's begin with um, the current situation in, in Zamfara State. I just wanted to give us an update uh, where the, the kin kidnapped kingpin who was killed in Zamfara Many said have brought some level of um, respite to the people of Zamfara. I is that the situation there? Well, um, currently, based on the instruction of Mr. President, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinibu for the command and control uh, uh, center to move to Sokoto to head on fight the bandits, uh, which mandated the Minister of State, Bello Mutawale, and all the service chiefs to move down to Sokoto to do the job. Uh, this is in fulfillment of Mr. President's uh, commitment and promises during the campaign to read that region of insecurity and uh, restore back peace for the people to uh, conduct their businesses as usual. Now, since they arrived there, the military have been uh, conducting onslaughts against the bandits and uh, successfully uh, doing it. But Hisato, the situation was terrible. People are being kidnapped, people are being attacked, killed both on road and in their houses. And uh, so much that before that action by Mr. President, bandits had the gut to go to the state capital to abduct and kill people. This is because of the insensitive nature of the government of Zamfara State under uh, Governor Dauda Lawal, whom we left the situation uh, very, very nice and uh, very terrible. But when we left, the situation has deteriorated to a uh, worst case scenario. But now I can tell you, based on the action by Mr. President and being implemented by the military uh, in conjunction with the Minister of State for Defense, who is coordinating the exercise, uh, a lot of successes are being achieved. Uh, so many Kim Pan, uh, Kim, uh, bandits camping are being killed. Uh, that is after the killing of the notorious camping uh, Halilu Buzuzu. And uh, now, uh, it is very surprising for Mr. Dauda Lawal to come and continue campaign of calumny against the minister. Basically, he has two uh, accusations he made against the minister. One, he said the minister is having link with the bandits. Now, let, let, let's take them, the um, question, just, just a minute, uh, Honorable Dosara, because I, I, I want us to look at it at a very, at a very core. Um, the 2023 elections have come and gone. People have moved on. Opposition, who, people who did not win in their state have moved on, but we see that um, in Zamfara, it seems to be lingering. The governor, you, you were about to start speaking about the allegations. He has stayed, you know, for a long time on those allegations. And even to recently, he has moved around, media, you know, the media houses, staying on those allegations, almost seeming as though he knows, you know, something that a lot of people don't. Um, speak to these allegations as you were about to, but I just wanted to lay that, that, that foundation. And look, he has, he has been talking about this for a really long time. Yeah, he, he was talking against Bello Mutawale because he is not capable of leading the state and fighting the law, I mean the war uh, against bandits. Uh, you can see that one, Dauda promised the people of Zamfara State 
after two weeks of his induction, he is going to handle the insecurity issue and he is going to bring peace and sanity to Zamfara State. But today, up till one and a half years, Daud Alawal was not able to do anything. Instead, he was going, uh, clamoring, uh, launching campaign of calumny against Mutawale, abandoning the people there uh, with insecurity. So much that today, like I said earlier, that people, I mean bandits, go into all this, the local government headquarters to abduct people, kill people, including Gusau, the state capital, which is very unfortunate. Now, it is this failure and lack of sense of focus and incapacitation on the side of Dawda Lawal to handle insecurity in Zamfara State after he has promised the people of Zamfara State that he will do it within two weeks. Uh, now, he decided to say, okay, let me launch a campaign of calumny against the Minister of State uh, for Defense uh, so that I can bury my shame uh, based on the, I mean, based on the promises I made the people of Zamfara State. And secondly, it is not only Mr. I mean, Mutawale he was accusing. He accused the military themselves. He said they are not ready to do uh, the fighting. They are not ready to fight the war. And he accused the presidency of not committing itself, of not having political will to fight the bandits. But today, when the, the president ordered for the decisive action against these uh, bandits, Daud Alawal came following media houses, making campaign of calumny, even to my disappointment, claiming that he, I mean, his uh, community protection guard were the people who killed uh, Halilu Buzu. So, so you can see that he was full of shame on his failure well, honorable to Joseph, deal decisively if, if with the here, bandits, and that is um, why he is campaigning of calumny against both the Minister of State, Joseph, both Joseph, the military, and both the president. Sorry. You have said that this is um, this latest claims and allegations by the, the governor is because you know, like you say, his failure to deal with the insecurity, you know, the security situation in Zamfara State. But one, many would say, look, he could have blamed anybody. He could have said, oh, you know, he's mentioned the presidency, he's mentioned um, the the, the uh, Nigerian military, the military as well. But he has stayed, he has stayed on that of the governor for a really long time. Um, what, where is that particular allegation coming from, that sustained allegation? Yeah, that's what I told you. The, the allegation is basically because he was unable to do the job. But now that Mutawale led the Nigerian military to do decisive action based on the directives of Mr. President, he is now coming out, going media by media, claiming success, claiming, to, I mean, I mean, claiming credit, that uh, it's like he is the one fighting the bandits. And, and this is untrue. Everybody knows that it is the president who ordered the relocation of the command and control center to Sokoto State for the military to fight the bandits. And they have done it, and they are doing it. And they are being coordinated by the minister of state. And this is why he is relaunching his attack by making media trial against the Minister of State. So it is based on his failure. Now, one thing I want people to understand, if he accused Mutawale of sponsoring bandits, how can somebody who was a governor initiated a committee to investigate those having links with bandits? And that committee was spearheaded by a former Nigerian Inspector General of Police, and they submitted the report to him, and based on their report, he set off a white paper committee, which I was member, and that white paper committee sent recommendation to the governor, and based on that, he removed two emirs. Now, how can a governor who is having hands in dealing with the bandits, or who is sponsoring bandits, can remove emirs uh, because of having uh, links with the bandits? So this allegation is a baseless allegation. It's allegations based on incapability of Dauda to handle the affairs of Zamfara State. Instead of him to liaise and cooperate with the I mean, federal government, with the Minister of State, 
to decisively deal the issue of insecurity in Zamfara State, he is going about campaigning of calumny. Just on Thursday, he gave substantial amount of money for people to do a press conference in Kaduna. I sent somebody to cover that uh, 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 press conference. And uh, the, what they were saying, they are Tinibu youth, APC youth, campaigning against Tinibu minister. How can, how, can you, how can you imagine this unintelligent type of thing? Mm. How well, can we, we APC cannot, and Tinibu that, boys that campaign uh, against Tinibu minister? But I, I want to come in here, um, Honorable Desara, because people have said that the minister himself has not sufficiently addressed these allegations. First of all, he is a former governor of um, Zamfara State, and it, of course he owes it to the people um, to, to address it. And he's also the Minister of State for Defense, you know, and he also owes it to Nigerians to address it. Why has he not sufficiently addressed it? Well, like I told you, it is it, all what Mutawale is supposed to do, he has been doing it. He ruled Zamfara State and has done his best for the people of Zamfara State. People saw it, and it was Mutawale who, closed, who shut down Zamfara State for almost three months just because for him to fight the bandits. And it is Mutawale who also shut down all markets, shut down all filling stations, just for him to fight the bandits. And it was under Mutawale that uh, over 5,000 uh, kidnapped victims that were rescued. But because Daudalawal is not happy with the way Mutawale is doing, is, is fulfilling or implementing the mandate given to him by Mr. President because he doesn't want Mutawale to be on the seat of power, on that uh, ministerial seat. He is campaigning against Mutawale. Like I told you on Thursday, and, and I he sponsored your point, a group Honorable of people, Dosara, a group, I get your point of, a group of PDP youth to, to, come, to, to do press conference against Mutawale. And right okay. now I'm Honorable talking to Dosara, you, Dosara, of just to be in Zamfara. He relocated to Abuja, sponsoring people to undergo campaign of calumny against Mutawale, simply because well, he again, saw that the president is going that, to reshuffle his cabinet. Here, he wants minute. Mutawale to be removed let me, out let me of ask the you this cabinet. Question. Um, I understand the, the principle of success is the best answer sometimes, but when you have been, um, you, you have been entrusted with the territorial integrity of a nation, uh, and his security, and then the allegations of you also now, you know, being the one to sponsor insecurity, whether true or not, in the spirit of transparency and accountability, shouldn't he then address, he himself should address a press conference, or, do, you know, speak to the media as to whether, you know, and put to rest all of these allegations? Well, like I told you, all Mutawale should do has been doing it. To the extent of trying to bring Dauda to sit down together and reconcile, I mean, fine tune ways of handling insecurity with the Belen Zamfara State, but Dauda Lawal is not ready to do it. All Dauda Lawal is after is let Mutawale be removed from the uh, position of minister. And that's all. And like I'm talking to you, all these things are nothing but a calculation of 2027 election. Because Dauda Lawal has spent one and a half years doing nothing in terms of securing the lives and property of the people of Zamfara State. Therefore, he has diverted his attention fighting the Minister of State. The Minister of State has done his job. Let Dauda do his own job. And if he alleged, he should allow the security agencies in charge of investigation to do their investigation. He cannot force a federal uh, agency to do something out of the law. They were established on the constitutional provision and they follow due process and constitutional provision to do their job, not Dauda Lawal to force them to do something out of uh, the, the law. So this is what I want the Nigerians to understand. Dauda Lawal is not ready. He has nothing for the people of Zamfara State in terms of providing and, and the you basic still and fundamental my question, functions of government, Honorable Dosara, which is I, I the get, protection of you know, lives all, all and property said, of the people. All that you have said, you know, I totally understand. I'm sure Nigerians understand. But the, you still haven't answered the principal question which I asked. 
is why um, the, the, the Minister of State for Defense hasn't sat down once and for all, addressed a press, you know, press conference and addressed these issues and just have, at least let it be out there that he has addressed them. The, the Minister of State has, has been addressing press in terms of these issues. And like I told you, the Minister has been doing all he could to bring Dauda together with him to fight the bandits, but the Dauda is not ready to do that. So Mutawale has been, has been trying his best to, to deal with the situation uh, the way he can. And now that you can see when Mr. President ordered that he should relocate with the command and control uh, center to Sokoto to fight bandits, he did, and he became victorious. The most dangerous and notorious uh, kimpan, I mean, uh, bandits camping has been killed, and many of his commanders killed also. So what else uh, can Mutawale do? He has demonstrated his capability. He has demonstrated his ability. He has demonstrated his commitment to fighting insecurity in that region, and which he did under the instruction of Mr. President. So, mm. so what else does Dauda want? Dauda should focus on securing the lives and uh, uh, property of the people of Zamfara State, not fighting Mutawale, because Zamfara people elected him based on his promise that he will deal with insecurity. But he failed. Therefore, they did not vote him to fight Mutawale. And Mutawale is doing what Mr. President is assigning him to do, not listening to Dauda Lawal's allegations, because Mutawale is, is, is not objecting, it's not saying that he should not be investigated, but Dauda should allow the, the, the law enforcement agencies to do their job, not him forcing them to do what the Constitution has not given them uh, the, 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 the right to do. So this is it. Mutawale has done everything. He addressed press. He told them the reality. And now, based on his performance, he has been doing a lot to ensure that uh, what he is assigned to do by Mr. President, he is doing it. But let Dauda do what Zamfara people assign him to do, to do. Not just to be going around the campaign of calumny against Mutawale. Like I told you, he relocated, as I'm talking to you, he relocated from Zamfara State, sponsoring uh, some media bloggers to be writing all sorts of nonsense. Yesterday, they were giving money to take Mutawale uh, to take the president to court, that he must uh, drop Mutawale. He must investigate Mutawale. So mm. you can see how Dauda has gone to that extent of abandoning his job, coming to do the job that he is not assigned to do, which is fighting Mutawale. So, so you, you've do raised, your own. You've raised, um, on Draw a line you've and do your own. Let the investigating uh, right, or law Rodeza, enforcement you, agencies raised to carry action against Mutawali where they found him all right, wrong. We hear you, but I, I want to take some of the things you've said one after the other. One of them is that you talked about how um, the governor has refused to cooperate with the Minister of State for Defense. And I wanted to ask, in what area has he refused to cooperate? Because one would say that is there cooperation, cooperation really needed? All, the, all the, the, the Minister of State for Defense needs to do is give the instruction to the military, and then they do their job, and that's all. In what areas has he failed? Um, to cooperate with, with the Minister of Defense? Well, one, President has directed Mutawale and the other Minister of Defense to go to Zamfara to sit with Dauda, but up till now he refused to sit with them. And they have been making attempts to visit Zamfara State, but the governor refused them visiting Zamfara State. Now, how can they, how can they uh, have the guard to support him fighting the uh, insecurity when he doesn't listen to them, when he doesn't uh, sit with them, when he doesn't tell them his problems and predicaments that are preventing him to do the job he is doing, so that together they put heads together to fight bandits. If I were Dauda, when I saw President appointing Mutawale, a former governor of Zamfara State, immediate past the governor for that matter, I will be I will be kneeling down for Mr. President to tell him to please ask Mutawale to cooperate with me so that he can help me 
achieve or fulfill the promise I made the people when I was campaigning, that within two, 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 two weeks of my assumption in office, I will deal with uh, uh, insecurity in Zamfara State. But instead, he, he decided to take the, 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 the way of fighting the federal government, the way of fighting the military, the way of fighting Mutawale, and the way of fighting the other minister that they failed, they refused to. There was no political uh, will to fight the bandits. But now that the president ordered for this and the success is being achieved, he is now coming, following uh, media stations, media houses to claim credit. Can you imagine this? So I am telling you that if Dauda has cooperated with the Minister of State, with the other minister, with the federal government, with the military, he wouldn't have made all these weighty, baseless allegations against them. Dauda failed to know that the military are sacrificing their life to save the people of Zamfara State. Instead of him appreciating them, he went on blackmailing them that they are not doing their best, that when they were giving uh, directives, the Abuja will tell them not to go. How can a governor can sit down and make this thinking? You cannot handle security issues uh, insensitively. He has to uh, uh, think of the commitments of the president, the commitments of the military to fight these bandits. So he should cooperate with them to make sure that uh, they, 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 they succeed in it. Not to go be behind alleging that they are not doing their job and alleging that Mutawale... But Governor Downs Alawal was in... Governor Dan Alawal was in uh, was at the presidential villa in March to see the president. He did brief state health correspondence, you know, talking about. Um, I just want to get that correctly. He was talking about how, if nothing is done um, to arrest the situation, the whole of the northern part of the country would be in trouble. And then he also said that um, the, the the state has his that Zafara state has become the epicenter of terrorism, um, despite efforts by the state government to end um, the criminal activities. We've seen the governor make some moves. He has um, in inaugurated, I think it was some community uh, um, security outfits at some point. And then we've seen him, I and mean, these visits to the president, people will also say, also say some move. But my point, the point I was raising earlier, it's how, um, I don't know how the governor would not allow the former governor to come into Zamfara state. All the former governor needs to do is to give the instruction to the army who has the intelligence of what's going on in the state. And then, it, I mean, to, to the understanding of most Nigerians, that's what is required. So what cooperation would they be needing from him? Pardon? Can, can you repeat the question, please? I was saying that... Um, for, I couldn't to, get the, the question. The, the, when, the president the gave, question? when the president gave that order um, to the, the heads of the military and then the, chief, the, the, the Minister of State for Defense, I mean, we saw, um, we saw the outcome. Uh, we saw the results which means that all they needed to do was to take action, even with, with or without the cooperation of, of, the, of the governor. Yeah, what we are talking about here is, instead of him to allow them to do the job as directed by Mr. President and as they have started doing it, he went at the back door to be accusing the, the, the Minister of State. On what reason? Why? Why should he be accusing the Minister of State when the Minister is coordinating them to do the onslaught campaign against the bandits and the, he has been succeeding? The military have been succeeding. The federal government has been succeeding. Why, what, what, why complaining? Why complaining? Today he will accuse Mutawale of stealing public funds. Tomorrow he accuses Mutawale of linking with the bandits. For what reason? He was brought there by law, and he should allow law to take its course. That is what we are saying. Fundamentally, he is supposed to have dedicated himself to the fight against insecurity in Zamfara State. But instead of him to do that, he let the situation reach worst case scenario. Like I said earlier, now before the president's order, bandits have got the gut to go to each local government headquarters 
to kidnap, adopt, and kill people, including Gusau, the state capital. This is what we are saying. But Dauda is vehemently alleging and accusing Mutawale because he, he realized that uh, president is now reshuffling his cabinet. He wants to fuel allegations against Mutawale so that president can drop him from the cabinet. Like I told you, that is just the motive of Dauda Lawal. And all these things are calculated towards 2027. Now, uh, why, why Dauda himself, a sitting governor, will have that audacity, audacity to, 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 to come to television station under, under, under a microphone to defend himself, to make allegations? Wild, wild allegations, baseless allegations. When people are helping you to succeed in your governance and then you are coming to castigate them, to blackmail them, why? Mm. So, what Honorable Justice, if I may ask, you, you've talked about this. Lawal, when Mutawale is dropped from the minister. Um, you, you've talked agency. about how this is about 2027. Uh, even some analysts have criticized the governor, Dauda Lawal, of politicizing um, security in Zamfara State. But I also wanted to ask you, is there a sense that the insecurity in Zamfara State is interwoven with politics? Interwoven how? Is there a sense that politics has a role to play um, in, in the insecurity that we're, we're seeing now in Zamfara State? Yeah, but, but must we must we put politics first before the security of lives and property? The fundamental functions of government anywhere is the protection of lives and property of the people. And Dauda should have focused his attention towards the achievement of that uh, objective, not to focus his attention on fighting Mutawale, simply because he wants Mutawale to be removed from the federal cabinet. So I, that I was is speaking what we are to saying. I was speaking to the idea we are saying of, of that who, the security of we know lives that, and property. Um, Honorable Dosara, I just have a few minutes left. And it's primary for Dauda Honorable and Dosara, just a minute. And they should put heads together to, to, to help the federal question. government achieve its goals and objectives and its campaign promises yeah. when All right. President Tinubu was you, campaigning. You said that, but and let me he ask promised the question. people of Zamfara said that he will fight the insecurity. Um Honorable Dosara, please just a minute. I need to ask you this question. Thank you. So the question I was trying to ask you, it's away from, it's away from um, Daoud and Lawal and Matawale. My question was going to be, is that um, when you, in, every, in every state, in every country, people will say, look, um, when there's crime and terrorism, there are those who sponsor it. I was asking you that, is there a sense that you know, politicians you know, are also involved in the insecurity in, in Zamfara State that is making it you know, look so, so big that it looks like something that cannot be dealt with? I can't, I can't hear you properly. Kindly uh, raise off a voice to let me uh, hear what you said. All right, so I, I will just ask you one last time. I hope you can hear me. I was asking you if there is a sense that politicians are also involved in the insecurity in Zamfara State. Well, um, like I told you, uh, Oh, like I said in this place, there are two or three basic factors responsible in the fight, I, I mean, in the insecurity in the Amphara state. Uh, one, there is the economic actor, uh, factor, and two, there is the political factor. So the political factor is that the politicians themselves, who ought to have gathered together, unite together to fight a common front, but they could not do because Dauda could not agree to their advice. There is no stakeholder who has not spoken to Dauda to stop this fighting. Cooperate with Matawale, let them fight insecurity in Zamfara State, secure the lives and property of people of Zamfara State, but he refused any of the political stakeholders. So that is one. Two, there is economic factor of the fight or rather the escalation of the insecurity in Zamfara State. That is, 
uh, there are those conflict entrepreneurs who are feeding out of the crisis. And because of that, they always continue to feud this crisis between Mutawale and Daudalawal. Uh, just like I told you, in Kaduna, some, 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 some sponsored uh, political talks were asked to write to do uh, that press conference against Mutawale. And just yesterday, some political thugs were also sponsored to go to the court to sue President Tinubu to sack Mutawale, to probe him. And there are so many media write-ups, so many allegations that are purportedly written against the Mutawale because they want President to say, okay, because too much complaint against Mutawale, let me remove him from the federal cabinet. This is just what they are after. And that is why you see Dauda himself came to your station and other three national stations to do these weighty allegations that are baseless. And then continue to sponsor people to also do campaign of calumny from one reason to the other, uh, spending we do have public funds. The um, tax payers' so money that's, that's uh, is on parasite. That's the much time that I have. Thank you so much for your time. We've been speaking with the former Commissioner for Information in Zamfara State, Ibrahim Dosara. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, uh, Precious.